It's okay to admit when you're wrong. It's okay to uh, be upset at your past self for making mistakes. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at celebs, creators, and influencers who found ways to repeatedly stir outrage, getting canceled on more than one occasion. Also to talk about cancel culture itself and how horrible it is and how fascist. Number 20, Jimmy Fallon. This late night personality has based much of his shtick on being lighthearted and inoffensive, making it all the more jarring whenever he finds himself at the center of controversy. In 2000, Fallon infamously impersonated Chris Rock on SNL. The story came out about me on SNL doing an impression of Chris Rock in blackface, and I was horrified. Not of the fact that people were trying to cancel me or cancel the show, while not exactly PC, this was before social media took off. It wasn't until the sketch resurfaced in 2020 that hashtag Jimmy Fallon is over party made the rounds. Fallon reflected on this as a quote, terrible, quote, unquestionably offensive decision. I realized I needed to get educated about how to stop the silence and the fear of saying the wrong thing by not being silent. With Rock standing up for Fallon, all seemed to be forgiven until 2023. Rolling Stone published an article claiming that Fallon's Tonight Show created a toxic work environment based on the stories of 16 workers. There were complaints about Jimmy Fallon's erratic behavior, mood swings, and hissy fits. Some former employees even claimed there were so-called crying rooms where staffers would sit and weep. Fallon again apologized, expressing embarrassment. Some are ready to forgive Fallon, while others wish Conan would come back. Number 19, Lana Del Rey. This singer came under fire multiple times in 2012. Many felt her album cover for Blue Jeans romanticized domestic violence. She was also accused of cultural appropriation for wearing a Native American headdress in the video for Ride. <laughs> Del Rey's views on feminism and race came to a head in 2020 when she wrote on Instagram, quote, I'm fed up with female writers and alt singers saying that I glamorize abuse. She also implied that there was a double standard, comparing herself to several other singers who touch upon similar themes, some being women of color. The difference is when I get on the poll, people call me a whore, but when Twigs gets on the poll, it's art. This sparked yet another scandal, to which Del Rey responded, quote, don't ever, 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 bro, call me racist, accusing her critics of trying to start, quote, a race war. And the fact that they want to turn my, my post, my advocacy for fragility into a race war, it's really bad. It's actually really bad. Number 18, James William Ross, also known as Tyra Sanchez. Just because someone is spreading hate doesn't give somebody else the right to send equally insensitive comments back. Tyra Sanchez learned this the hard way in 2016, several years after winning RuPaul's Drag Race. My queen. Go, girl! Yes. Wear this crown with pride. The other Tyra is dead. Long live the new Tyra! When Sanchez became the target of a mean-spirited tweet, he suggested that the writer take their own life. This unleashed a swarm of backlash, but Sanchez refused to apologize. That was the opportunity for the fan base, instead of attacking the person that's sending me the gun shoots, or the guns, I'm the one that gets attacked, mm -hmm. and the one that's shamed and told that I should die or whatever. RuPaul stood by Sanchez as some demanded that their title be revoked. However, Sanchez was banned from DragCon LA 2018 for making perceived threats online. Since then, Sanchez was arrested for vandalizing the side of a building in 2020. Three years later, he was apprehended two more times, once for reportedly threatening a cop and again for publicly protesting with a sex toy. Number 17, Michael Jackson. Even in death, a celebrity can face comebacks and cancellations. Nobody better exemplifies this than the king of pop. Michael Jackson had proven polarizing since 1993, and tensions reached their apex with his 2005 trial. With an umbrella, a white suit, bejeweled vest, spats, and a wave to hundreds of fans, Michael Jackson came to court determined to be found not guilty. 
Four years after being acquitted, the world was shocked to hear of Jackson's sudden passing. Reflecting on his contributions to music, various fans came to separate the artist from the art. That was until 2019, when the documentary Leaving Neverland came out, reminding everyone of the allegations. This prompted more people to turn on Jackson, with The Simpsons burying the classic episode Stark Raving Dad. Well, of course I've heard of you. I mean, you'd have to be living under a rock not to know. What'd you say your name was? Michael Jackson. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, have you heard of MTV? Nope. Motown. No. Nope. Beat it. You beat it. Thriller. What was that last one? Thriller. Nope. With MJ the Musical being a Broadway smash and Janet Jackson defending her brother in another documentary, though, this cancellation might not be permanent either. Number 16. Lena Dunham When Girls premiered on HBO in 2013, Lena Dunham seemed poised to become the voice of her generation. I don't want to freak you out, but I think that I may be the voice of my generation. Or at least a voice of a generation. The more people heard, however, the less they wanted to follow Dunham on social media. Arguably the most infamous moment came in 2014, when Dunham shared a graphic childhood anecdote about her and her sibling. Over the years, Dunham has made several other statements that she'd come to regret, most notably comparing the Holocaust to Bill Cosby, painting Odell Beckham Jr. in an unflattering light, and wishing that she knew what it was like to terminate a pregnancy. Dunham would apologize for all of the above, but she lost more fans upon defending Girls writer-producer Murray Miller amid predatory allegations. She's getting a lot of criticism right now because she's been very outspoken before with believing victims. And now in the case that involves her friend, she's saying that we shouldn't take the victim at her word. Number 15. Jake and Logan Paul One's a boxer, the other's a wrestler. And both should probably just stay off social media. Thousands called for older brother Logan to leave YouTube after he posted an insensitive video of a dead man on his trip to Japan. I've never been hated by the whole world, uh, and it's, it's been something to definitely overcome. I will think twice in the future about what I post. While this act had the most repercussions, Logan has found other ways to get into trouble, making negative comments about gay people and supporting scams like CryptoZoo. Jake is no stranger to scam allegations either, although those don't even scratch the surface of his cancellations. Jake has thrown a massive pandemic party, attended a Scottsdale mall riot, and faced multiple accusations of sexual misconduct. It's devastating to be accused of, of such a thing. And correct me if I'm wrong, but nothing's come from it legally of course since not. then, right? Of course not. We're not sure who would win in a fight, but the real question is which Paul will get canceled next. Number 14, Roseanne Barr. Some of this comedian's cancellations predate social media as we now know it. Her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner causing an uproar in 1990. That was fairly innocent compared to the 2009 Hitler photo shoot that Barr participated in for a parody magazine. While that was meant to be satirical, it was no laughing matter when Barr started spreading conspiracy theories about the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in 2018. Despite all of this, people were ready to welcome Barr back into their homes with the Roseanne revival that same year. Dad, will you tell her how stupid she's been? It's never worked out for me. Shortly after the season ended, though, the Connors decided that they didn't need Roseanne when Barr made a racist comment about Valerie Jarrett. Barr left the spotlight, but she still resurfaces to spread conspiracies. Number 13. Ezra Miller There was a time when it looked like Ezra Miller might be the next big thing in Hollywood, especially after being cast as the DCEU's Barry Allen. Oh my God! Hi. I love you! Thank you. You seem very nice also. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> As the Flash movie's production slowly moved to the finish line, Miller gained a dubious reputation. Miller's history of legal problems actually goes back to 2011, when they were caught with marijuana, receiving two disorderly conduct citations. This was a small boo-boo compared to a 2020 video seemingly depicting Miller attacking a woman in Iceland. 
things remained quiet on the Miller front until 2022, when it felt like they were being canceled every other week, be it for their multiple arrests in Hawaii, grooming allegations, endangering a family on a farm full of guns, or committing burglary. Number 12. Chris Brown for a lot of people, Chris Brown's music is an afterthought compared to his problematic relationship with Rihanna. I didn't cause this. I didn't do it. This happened to me, and it can happen to anybody. There are a lot of women who've experienced what I did. While the 2009 domestic violence case sparked the most backlash, it's hardly the only time that Brown has been canceled. In 2013, Brown had 1,000 hours of community service added to his probation after a hit-and-run incident. Although Brown avoided incarceration, he found himself in police custody three months later after attacking a man seeking a photo. Brown jumped between jail and rehab, receiving bipolar II and PTSD diagnoses. In the years that followed, Brown was accused of pulling a gun on one woman and sexually assaulting another. Those cases didn't go anywhere, but social media hasn't let Brown off the hook for his past deeds. I think this, this album is what you know, I, I want people to hear and want people to really get into, so definitely this album is what I want them to talk about and not the <laughs> stuff that happened two years ago. Number 11, Azalea Banks. It's been argued that Azalea Banks is better known for her beefs than for her songs, clashing with the likes of Lady Gaga, Iggy Azalea, and Nicki Minaj, to name a few. Maybe there's rebelliousness in me. No, you will not box me and you will not quiet me. The beef that perhaps ignited the most outrage was with Zayn Malik of One Direction. On social media, Banks made comments about the British singer that were seen as racist and homophobic. Banks would later apologize, but it wasn't enough to prevent Twitter from suspending her account. She mm. knows what she's doing, <laughs> right. but what she won't stop doing it. I think she's. I well, think what I've is, seen a change what is there now. to stop doing? What have I? What have I really done? She eventually found her way back on the platform, but Banks got kicked off again after making transphobic statements in 2020. Beyond these offensive tweets, Banks has also divided followers on Instagram with bigoted remarks about the Irish and videos depicting deceased animals. Number 10. Joss Whedon He was once among the most beloved voices in pop culture, but the tides started to shift for Whedon in 2017 when his unproduced Wonder Woman script was leaked online. Some found his screenplay sexist, but since the film never got made, people didn't dwell on it. What are we gonna do? There's not much we can do, if that's who I think it is. Whedon found himself back in the hot seat, however, after taking over the Justice League reshoots. Any blowback? Big time. About three years later, actor Ray Fisher accused Whedon of, quote, gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable behavior. Fellow Justice League actors Jason Momoa and Gal Gadot also spoke out against Whedon, while Warner Media launched an investigation. The corporation said in a statement at the time, quote, remedial action has been taken, adding there are still conversations that need to be had and resolutions that need to be found. The controversy didn't end with the Justice League cast, as Amber Benson, Michelle Trachenberg, and Charisma Carpenter of Buffy fame have since recounted their allegedly toxic experiences with Whedon as well. Number 9. Jeffree Star Jeffree Star broke out as a singer and fashion designer on MySpace, demonstrating how social media can provide a gateway to immense success. So I just started promoting myself, and people started recognizing me for my image, so that's how it goes. At the same time, social media has also been the forum for some of Star's biggest controversies. In addition to posting a long list of tweets labeled as offensive, the YouTube star has also been accused of much bad behavior and trying to pay off his accusers. I'm embarrassed of myself. I'm embarrassed for my family that they have to see things online. And I'm sad that Nathan and my friends have to go online and deal with this as well because of my actions. The star keeps popping up in the news feeds for all the wrong reasons. Perhaps the most infamous story involved rival beauty vlogger James Charles. Very these are scary. dark thoughts. Yeah, these are like, really bringing back traumatic experiences, yes, honestly. Yes, I know. We're having a little bit of PTSD right now. Um, <laughs> According to internet personality Tati Westbrook, Star, quote, used, coerced, and manipulated her into making a video that portrayed Charles in a deeply negative light. Westbrook brought similar allegations against YouTuber Shane Dawson. Speaking of which, number 8. Shane Dawson 
The controversy involving Tati Westbrook and James Charles sparked just one of the cancellations that Dawson has faced. Oh my God, I, I okay. I'm live because I, I can't even process I need a drink of water. Around the same time, older videos where Dawson used offensive makeup and vulgar language started making the rounds. In response to all the negative press, Dawson posted an apology video entitled Taking Accountability. I'm ready to, to, to own up to this stuff and I'm ready to hopefully show you guys that it's okay to admit when you're wrong. It's okay to uh, be upset at your past self for making mistakes, but also it's okay if people don't want to accept your apology. The video triggered a negative response from Jaden Smith about the portrayal of his sister Willow in one of the resurfaced clips. Family matriarch Jada Pinkett Smith wasn't pleased with Dawson either, tweeting to him, I'm done with the excuses. Shortly after the Smiths jumped on the cancel bandwagon, Dawson's books were removed from Target's inventory, while YouTube suspended his ability to monetize on his channels. Number 7. Doja Cat Cats may have nine lives, but there are only so many cancellations a celebrity can endure. Back in the day, this rapper posted a number of tweets directed at the gay community that have been called insensitive. When they resurfaced years later, Doja Cat apologized for the tweets, which have since been deleted. She seemed to overcome this cancellation with the success of her second studio album, Hot Pink. 2020 did Doja Cat few favors, however. Y'all are so scared of some damn corona. Not long after she downplayed the severity of COVID-19 on Instagram, the internet revisited one of her old songs that mocked victims of police violence. Doja Cat was also accused of partaking in an offensive chat room, although it was later reported that she didn't say anything offensive on the site. If you're a true fan of me, if you're young, all of my young fans, you know, people who look up to me, you know, my behavior isn't something that always needs to be followed. I'm not perfect. Number six, Shia LaBeouf. Do it! Just do it! This former child star's public image has been a series of ups and downs. The first major media blowout came in 2008 when he received a DUI. LaBeouf was arrested again in 2014 for disorderly conduct, criminal trespass, and harassment at a performance of cabaret. Yeah, what a night, man. <laughs> and I'm hoping that maybe you've, you've calmed that you've, you're dialing back a little bit. Yeah, since yeah, then. yeah. I'm gonna stay away from Broadway for a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, Broadway's yeah, not, not the problem. It's the whiskey, I think. Probably, that, yeah. You're probably right. <laughs> and that same year, LaBeouf addressed accusations of film plagiarism. In 2017, LaBeouf got in trouble with the law once more, leading to a year of probation. They got cameras everywhere, you dummy. I got more millionaire lawyers than you know what to do with, you stupid bitch. LaBeouf appeared to be making a comeback with acclaimed performances in The Peanut Butter Falcon and the semi-autobiographical Honey Boy. But the canceling started all over again in 2020, as LaBeouf faced more legal troubles, as well as accusations of mistreatment. Now to our GMA cover story, FKA Twigs is suing Shia LaBeouf. The first line of her lawsuit reads, Shia LaBeouf hurts women. Number five, the Kardashians and Jenners. They're not my people if they're against this issue. So big deal, I'm, I'm not like cheering them on. You are, you're voting for Ted Cruz. You're cheering him on. Where do we even begin? The internet is constantly fluctuating between idolizing and canceling the Kardashian-Jenner clan. While there are far too many scandals to discuss them all, some resulted in bigger backlashes than others. In 2017, Pepsi removed an ad featuring Kendall Jenner that was accused of trivializing the Black Lives Matter movement. Two years later, Kim's shapewear brand Kimono was accused of cultural appropriation, causing her to change the name to Skims. I definitely did not want to disrespect a culture. That's not what the brand is even about. It's about inclusivity, it's about comfort, it's not about making people uncomfortable. I just feel kind of dumb, like why didn't we think about this? Most recently, Kendall landed in hot water for throwing a massive, maskless birthday party during the pandemic. Based on these photos, many guests were not wearing masks. Now social media is lashing out. Despite constantly being at the root of controversy, the family always seems to bounce back from cancellation. Even when Keeping Up With The Kardashians ended, another Kardashian show premiered a year later. I don't agree with who you are as a human being. Say you're sorry. Okay, well, if I said something that hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. Number four, Kanye West. 
Kanye was technically part of the Kardashian-Jenner family up until his divorce from Kim in 2022. Even so, West is truly his own entity. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West appear to be headed for a split. And now a source tells ET that the reality star has considered divorcing the rapper and that their marriage counseling hasn't made much headway. While not the first time he got in trouble, his notorious confrontation with Taylor Swift at the 2009 VMAs is what originally made Kanye synonymous with canceled. Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. West stirred up more controversy when he threw his support behind Donald Trump, although he rescinded that support upon announcing his own 2020 bid for president. Although it was not immediately clear if West was serious about vying for the presidency just four months out from the election, or if he had filed any official paperwork to appear on state election ballots. Despite previously suggesting that slavery was, quote, a choice in 2018, West upset many on the campaign trail when he stated Harriet Tubman, quote, never actually freed the slaves. She just had them work for other white people. West didn't win, but that didn't stop him from trying to make Kanye 2024 happen for some time. Though Ye's mental health issues shouldn't be discounted, he has continued his controversial behavior. Cancellations be damned. Number 3. JK Rowling If there's one person who audiences liked a lot more before they got a Twitter account, it's JK Rowling. For a period, Rowling's biggest Twitter offense was retroactively canonizing details about Harry Potter. What got her cancelled the first time, though, was siding with researcher Maya Forstater, whose job contract wasn't renewed due to her statements about the transgender community. Rowling was cancelled again less than a year later when she commented on the term people who menstruate. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wumbin? Wimpund? Wumud? She wrote. Even as several Wizarding World actors condemned Rowling's comments, she managed to get herself cancelled a third time with a 3,600 word piece defending her views. With her words, she has moved masses of people across the world and has become one of the most influential writers of the modern age. Now she has taken pen to paper to make startling and deeply personal revelations about her own life. Rowling has also signed an open letter against cancel culture, although some feel that she's missed the point repeatedly. To all the people who now feel that their experience of the books has been tarnished or diminished, pronounced Radcliffe, I am deeply sorry for the pain these comments have caused you. Number 2. Mel Gibson while Gibson was accused of homophobia in the late 90s, his career didn't suffer any significant blows throughout that decade. Even as The Passion of the Christ generated controversy in 2004, Gibson remained a respected member of the Hollywood elite. That image was shattered two years later when Gibson reportedly made anti-Semitic remarks during an arrest. The devout Catholic wrote, I am not a bigot. Hatred of any kind goes against my faith and asked the Jewish community to help in his journey through recovery from alcoholism. Although many were ready to cancel him for good, Gibson's acting career started to see a resurgence in 2010 with Edge of Darkness. Is that what you think happened? That same year, however, a phone recording surfaced of Gibson speaking horribly to ex-partner Oksana Grigorieva. Despite these two highly publicized cancellations, Gibson has since seen some success, even scoring a Best Director Oscar nomination. His days as a bankable leading man are likely over, though. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. R. Kelly Are you trying to kill me? You killing me, man! Long before cancel culture was even a phrase, R. Kelly had already been canceled quite a few times. What with his illegal marriage to Aaliyah and a multitude of other accusations, we can only imagine how much Twitter would have reacted to Kelly in the 90s and early 2000s had it existed then. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? Much later, the singer faced his most severe cancellation with the rise of the hashtag Mute R. Kelly movement. 
and the release of the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly in 2019. Robert feels as if he's invincible. I can't be touched. And in hindsight, in society, we kind of made him feel that way. While Kelly had been at the center of numerous controversies for almost 25 years, this public airing appeared to be the last straw that broke the camel's back. I think R. Kelly is on everybody's uh, permanently canceled list. All of this is wrong. R. Kelly has a sickness. <laughs> yes, I believe R. Kelly's a dirtbag scumbag, and somebody should press charges and try to prosecute again. Press charges, let's go! And it wasn't just the public that canceled Kelly again. In 2022, he was sentenced to 31 years on six counts. Some celebrities get canceled once and learn their lesson. Others just disappear. Do you think these cancellations were warranted? Let us know in the comments. But is that my stuff? fault? Yes. No, We've absolutely not. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.